Indeed, galaxies are far, far away, and today we're going to take a look at M106, an intermediate spiral galaxy. This guy is 22 to 25 million light years away. That means the light that you're seeing started out 22 to 25 million years ago. And it is 135,000 light years across, which is hard to fathom. And it is also known to have a supermassive black hole in the active nucleus at the center. So today, using the Edge 11 at F7 and the Next Dome Observatory, we're going to take a look at M106 and see how it turns out. All that and more coming up next on Astronomically Speaking. <laughs> All right, here we are, and I am uh, in Nina. I'm going to fine tune the focus first before starting the sequence. Just trying to bring the HFR down. I basically, just look for the HFR to get into the threes and get nice and tight on the stars. We'll try 300. That's going to be too much, I'm sure. So it's probably around 550. I'm just going to shoot it back up to 550. This is using the N step Rigel focuser, as always, on the Edge 11. That's the actual interface for it. If you were to do it manually here, I have some presets in place too to help get from one end to the other when I'm changing optics. All right, so it's 386. That looks pretty good. Take a look at it, the sequence for M106 tonight. Uh, I'm gathering more data. I think I'm on hour five now. I should get four or five tonight till about the 40 degree mark, which is 3 a.m. And that's right where it's at with 85 exposures of 180 seconds. Dithering is on. Dither every two frames. I need to reset that because I did a few test ones earlier. So there we are, just post Meridian Flip. This one's getting later and later. I have two shots tonight and tomorrow to wrap this guy up. My usual options here for the focuser are set as always. I have my backlash set correctly. In the last video I showed how to do the backlash in Nina. All right, starting the sequence. Okay, after that last bit of alignment, we are all set to do the autofocus. Now, the previous focus was set to 2483. Oh, I must have lost it. No, it was 247550. We'll see how close it ends up in the end. And there we go, we're near the end here. I think it's finalizing on a position, not the greatest looking curve this time. Conditions are considered slightly below average actually tonight, despite the decent HFR I was getting. So that's probably the reason for this formation tonight. Normally I get a pretty good looking V. And it ended up at 247538. So my eyeball guesstimate of 247550 was pretty close. And now we'll get into the first exposure. Here's a look at the multi star guiding right now. Yeah, on better nights, I've had this HFD value of about 2.5 on some nights. So I would say tonight is slightly below great if I were to rank it 
a scale of one to four based on what I saw outside and what we're seeing here it's probably like a eh, maybe a seven out of ten whereas uh, the previous data I was more like a eight or a nine it is starting to tighten up a little bit though here all right here's a look in Stellarium at the location in my case just above north northeast uh, at the height of Meridian right now we can change our optics here so that it's using the F7 that I have set in here oh there goes the satellite um, and take a look at what it should be seeing in the imaging and that's pretty close I, I believe M106 it's a pretty fantastic looking galaxy and that's what it should come out to look like uh, if I do my processing uh, correctly you can see here in the lower right the lower right we see NGC 4217 that's a possible companion galaxy the galaxy itself of M106 is 22 to 25 million light years away which isn't that far compared to some other ones like Andromeda especially and it has an active nucleus and a presence of a super massive black hole that they detected back in 2014 at the center let's just jump back in and see how the actual 182nd image is looking here with a satellite that cut through the image but there's I'm getting 0.48 guiding I need to get 0.49 or better ideally and like I've said before I can get above that and get away with it most times but not not way above it so tonight's looking okay as far as guiding goes all right here we are with a brand new night brand new opportunity and it's looking pretty good I had 377 HFR at first so we'll see how the night goes could be a little bit better of a night guiding is looking good 0.54 ish adequate um, hopefully it uh, looks good I don't think I'm going to use the data from the higher HFR nights here is 54 minutes of data from last month that I did it uh, turned out okay uh, this was using after a pixel processor only I didn't use pixie insight just a quick render to see what I had basically and this shot was a cropped shot from um, March 7th and only about well this one had 5.35 hours of data 